Super Bowl 51, Falcons Patriots. Now this could be a game for the ages, or this could just be a blowout. I could easily see the Falcons blowing out the Patriots, and vice versa. Now when it comes to this game, is I'm expecting a close game just because under the Bill Belichick era, there has never been a like crushing like defeat or victory by the Patriots in any of their Super Bowls that they appeared in. Now I know the Falcons are going to try to win at halftime, and that is a possibility, but it's highly unlikely. And I doubt the Patriots are going to just win because of the Falcons choking and just scoring only 10 points. I highly doubt that. Now, when it comes to the game plans, I look at the Falcons offensively. The Falcons are definitely going to try to spread out the ball like they have done all season long. And I absolutely love the Falcons receiving court. I absolutely do. I look at um, Julio Jones. They use him as a weapon in a diversion at times. And I think that's going to play a huge role in this game. And they're going to do that. And again, and it's gonna, they're going to do that on different drives where maybe one drive where they're going to target Julio five times. And then the next drive, they're going to hope that the Patriots do some sort of double coverage. And hopefully that they will open up some seams for like Mohamed Sanu, Tyler Gabriel, and all sorts of other weapons. Now, I would also say that the Falcons will have to use a lot of Devontae Freeman as a two-way running back. David Johnson, I, in my opinion, had a very good game against the Patriots early on in the year. And they say that the Patriots do um, hold very good running backs down, but I still think David Johnson still got the um, edge on them early on in the season. The Patriots defense has changed, but I do look at Devontae Freeman and say he needs to be a factor in this game. Also, when I look at the Falcons defensively, they're going to have to minimize the blitzes and the zone defense a little bit here too. You're going to have to respect the Patriots' offense, and you're going to have to play some man coverage. And also, you're going to have to make sure Vic Beasley, you're going to have to make them rush from the inside and do kind of what similar what the um, Broncos did last year with um, DeMarcus Ray, trying to rush him in from the inside. Maybe someone else can try to get a sack on him. I feel like that could be a huge possibility right there. And also, you have to use um, Dwight, Dwight Freeney. And the idea about being the Patriots is you don't have to win through the turnover battle. You just have to score more than 20 points, and you have to disrupt their efficiency. How do you disrupt their efficiency? Brady has to have has to hover around 50% completion percentage and all of that, and they can't really complete um, or have a good third down percentage. And the Falcons are going to have to keep them out of the red zone a lot of the time, and also that you're going to have to... If you want to get a turnover, you don't beat the Patriots for winning the turnover battle, but let's just say you want to get a double score. I would say if Edelman and Lewis or Brady has the ball, try to force a fumble. The Patriots actually fumbled the ball um, a great amount, but they don't necessarily lose them often. But the Falcons do have the speed, the aggression to try to get the ball and all of that. And so... When it comes to the Patriots game plan, the Patriots offensively are going to use Edelman, Lewis, and Blunt a lot. Edelman just to try to get the drive starter a lot. Dion Lewis against the Falcons blitzes and Blunt in the red zone. Those are going to be the big three when it comes to their um to their skill players. And Tom Bray, ideally, he's going to have, I would say, I he wants to get somewhere around a 70% completion percentage so he knows how he, he can keep the Patriots in the game for that. Now, defensively, the Patriots, they just might let the Falcons just run the ball. That's something I heard over on the radio, that they just might let Matt Ryan have all these um, open um, running lanes. They might run a wide nine and just let Devontae Freeman um, run all over them and see if Matt Ryan won't throw the ball. That's That could be a possibility. And when I look at the Patriots, they're, they're, Malcolm Butler might not always be on Julio Jones. That's for one thing for sure. I feel like they're going to switch up coverages a lot of times where they might put Mal uh, Malcolm Butler on Gabriel. They might put um, Logan Ryan on Julio Jones, Eric Rowe on Mahomes Sanu, whatnot. And they're going to try to switch it up a lot. And the Patriots are going to have to play a lot of zone, but there are going to be times where they're going to have to just man up and just try to win the route running battle, which is going to be very, very hard. And I think ideally the Patriots are going to try to Maybe blitz here and there and try to get some um, 
get sacks for who through um, Marquise Flowers, one of their younger guys and all that, and maybe get some interior um, help from um, Dante Hightower. So, and the Patriots personnel wise, you, when you look at the overall athleticism, they don't actually match up well against the Falcons, but they do got the pieces there to beat them. I mean, they do have the linebacker, they do have a cover corner, and they do have a free safety. So they're pretty well-rounded when it comes to covering the Falcons, and also the Patriots have been very good when it comes to the rush team. Now, when it comes to special teams, the Falcons are just going to try to keep it away from the Patriots on special teams whatsoever. And when it comes to the Patriots, if they force, like, a four, if it's fourth down, and let's just say the Falcons are going to punt, the Patriots are going to try to return that for a touchdown. No question about it. That's that's one way the Patriots are going to try to win. They're going to try to get these these return touchdowns and whatnot. And the Falcons, when it comes to kickoffs, they're just going to try to boot it off the end zone. Now, when it comes to kickers, they both have very good kickers, and it might come down to a kick here and there. Now, my pick, I'm going to be siding on Vegas on this one. I feel like the Patriots are going to win this game due to the experience of the Patriots. I do believe that they also are the best team in the NFL. And I also think that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are motivated to be the first coaching quarterback to ever win five Super Bowls. And especially when um, the flake gates um, hovering around their heads and how they can have maybe a season where they don't have to have a scandal um, covering them when they win the Super Bowl. That's what I think. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. Enjoy the Super Bowl.